Freedom of speech is one of the most important human rights because it is tied very closely with another. The right to protest. Yes, you have an inalienable human right to air grievances and demand change from your government, institutions, etc, etc, no matter what the message of the protest is. Some protests can be for a noble cause, some can be really stupid, and then there is today's mad lad who thinks he is being secretly filmed for an intergalactic reality TV show run by aliens from the 12 Galaxies Empire and broadcast across the universe for their entertainment. And he is demanding to be paid royalties for his work as an alien slave actor. Yes, really. Frank Chu. Please leave a like and a comment on this video because it really helps me in the algorithm. But before we get started, we actually have a new sponsor, Kamikoto Knives. As you know, I try my best in the kitchen. Well, I make my wife try her best, but you can always help yourself or help your wife by purchasing the best kitchenware, such as a good sharp knife set. Kamikoto knives are made using traditional techniques and with the highest quality Japanese steel. Each knife is individually inspected to hit a perfect standard before being shipped and it comes with a lifetime warranty. For safe storage, the knives come in a heavy duty ash wood box that also makes a great gift. Kamikoto knives are used worldwide by Michelin star chefs because they are built on the legacy of over 800 years of Japanese technology and expertise in crafting the steel to make knives that have been meticulously handcrafted from using traditional techniques that date back to the Edo period of Japan. And Kamikoto is running an early Black Friday sale and it is offering my viewers an extra $50 off of any purchase when they use the discount code DANKILA on top of their other special offers. So go to kamikoto.com slash DANKILA to get your knives and help support the channel. New sponsor, show them some love. Click the link. Frank Chu was born on the 24th of March 1960 in Oakland, California. Not much is known about his early life until he later attended Cal State Hayward to earn an associate's degree in business administration. The school has now been moved and it's now Almeida County State College. Before he started doing what he is most known for, he was just an average guy working as an accountant. But his current career can only be described as a professional protester. Now, this story from Frank's early life should be taken with a massive pinch of salt, because apparently in 1985, when Frank was only 24 years old, he took 11 of his family members hostage at their home in Auckland and apparently beat several of them with his bare hands. When a police officer came to deal with the situation, Frank allegedly shot at him using a 38 pistol, luckily missing every shot. Then the police closed off the area for three hours while they negotiated with Frank to try and resolve the situation. Frank eventually gave up and he released all 11 of the hostages before surrendering himself to the police. Now, this is a very huge claim against Frank and this is one of the more known stories about him but we couldn't find any evidence at all to back this up so I think this is just a rumour. Besides if this really did happen then Frank would have received multiple life sentences for the attempted murder of a cop and 11 counts of kidnap and torture which is why I don't actually believe this story. But since Frank has severe mental illness, it may cause people to believe anything they hear about him. 
But in his public interactions, he has only ever been nice to people. But then, Frank started protesting. Frank started protesting about a lot of crazy and wild shit. Now, no one really knows why Frank snapped, but it seems to have happened almost overnight. Now, let us, for just one second, give Frank the benefit of the doubt and look into the cosmic mind that is Frank Chu and his belief system. Let us really check that he is not onto something and see if his brain is just on a higher plane than ours. After all, maybe we're the crazy ones. Frank's protest has been a lengthy and as of yet unresolved campaign which started in 1989, where he has asked to impeach many former or current US presidents, starting with Bill Clinton, based, who he believes are all collaborating with the alphabet agencies and a massive network of alien civilizations called the Twelve Galaxies just to defraud him. Their goal, apparently, is to film Frank Chu against his will, broadcast it to as many galaxies as possible, and make a profit from an intergalactic TV show that Frank says is called The Richest Family. While Frank receives not one cent of the royalties that are owed to him as the sole TV and movie star. He also believes that other government agencies are trying to hide the existence of other galaxies from just him and him alone. You know, we're all in on it. We're all allowed to know. The only person on Earth who is not allowed to know is Frank Chu. He also claims that all of these alphabet agencies are involved in crimes and treason, and that he is sometimes watched and filmed by disappearing cameras that are able to cloak themselves using advanced alien technology. Frank Chu basically believes that his life is the Truman Show, but for aliens, and on a much more futuristic and intergalactic scale. This this went from zero to 60 pretty fucking fast, didn't it? Frank travels into San Francisco from Auckland every single day to perform his protest. And he can mostly be seen on Market Street or Montgomery Street. Even today, if you travel down there, you'll probably see him protesting. He walks for miles and miles every single day with his sign. And now he walks with a limp. This is likely due to his age and the amount of walking he does. He walks so much, in fact, that sometimes people have to buy him new shoes since he completely wears his old ones out. He is a landmark in the area, a sort of local legend. Everyone that lives in the area knows who Frank Chu is. But he is very kind to everyone that speaks to him. Well, I had a chance to have a very nice day out here in downtown San Francisco, financial district, and a lot of nice professional people out here today. I guess uh, some of them uh, could be uh, from those corporations, corporate executive or vice presidents, and probably some of them were uh, sometimes uh, some of the UN presidents in person. Probably was all top secret uh, behind closed doors in Washington, and uh, they could come out and observe my protests about trillions or trillions of galaxies of populations, and also concerning myself as the movie star and the TV star. So I think it was uh, the 12 galaxies of populations, friends for the White House, for the CIA, keeping it a secret from myself that I was uh, filmed with the surveillance hidden cameras, with uh, Universal Studios and uh, with top secret telepathic scientific inventions, with cameras that could uh, disappear in thin air. He is so well known, in fact, that a bar was actually named 12 Galaxies in honour of Frank, but... Unfortunately, the bar's now closed. Although this might be a little bit of a backhanded compliment, in 2007, Frank Chu was named as the best pathological citizen of the year by San Francisco Weekly. At almost every single protest, Frank will make comments on how great everything is, like the weather, even if the weather's absolutely fucking terrible. 
He'll also go on pretty much any platform that will give him a voice in order to raise awareness for his campaign. He is so well known by local news crews in the area that he has appeared on multiple news stations and Frank happily states that the news crews even trust him enough to talk for 20 to 30 seconds. Frank does keep tabs on the news crews, however, and he always makes sure that he is visible in their camera whenever they go live. He will wait around to see if they are interviewing the public, and then he will jump at the chance if they are. People in San Francisco have noticed that Frank Chu's mental health symptoms seem to be reduced when he is in the presence of large crowds. The more alone he is, the further deluded he gets. Some say that he shouts and tries to fight invisible enemies in the middle of the street. His explanation for why he shouts is that he is severely brainwashed by corrupt presidents, and that the shouting helps him to counter it and drown it out. Some of the groups that Frank believes are responsible for transporting goods between the 12 galaxies are named thusly. The Quintronic Society, the Quadronic Rocket Society, Tetratronic Space Vacations, Betatronic Flying Saucers, the Alphatronic Rocket Vacations Asteroid Society, Android Planets, and Humanoid Society Humans. Frank, be <laughs> Frank, Frank believes that the populations on the other planets are much more advanced than our own, and he says that they mostly use flying saucers to get around, and that the rocket societies that we just discussed provide space vacations to everyone on Earth except Frank. <laughs> He's the only one that's not allowed to go. You know, we, we are all allowed to go into space and other galaxies whenever we want. You know, I want to go on a lad's holiday to Jupiter, you know, see some of the Jupiter women, get myself some of that Jussie Bussy. But, you know, we're all allowed to go. The only person out of the seven-odd billion of us on Earth that's not allowed to go is Frank. And apparently, we're all keeping it secret from him. Frank has been asked if there are more than 12 galaxies, and he has confirmed that there are. But the 13th galaxy, and every other galaxy after it, are all innocent since they don't take part in the TV show. Frank has said that his favourite galaxy is completely populated by rich people who have infinite lifespans. But knowledge of this particular galaxy is top secret. Frank's current count for the number of galaxies that exist has grown so large that the number may as well be infinite. Which, which is technically kind of correct. While he performs most of his protests in San Francisco, he will sometimes travel to attend any kind of event or protest to spread his own message. Any event. Even events like fucking SantaCon <laughs> to, to spread his message about aliens to Santa. <laughs> and, and while Frank is a Republican, he will also march with any political protest without bias. Any protest, he will go there. Even if he doesn't care to know what the protest is even about. Because he's there for his own protest. No one else's. The most iconic thing about Frank Chu is his signs. His signs which are very, very cryptic. And people have tried to work out what they mean with multiple theories, but it's doubtful that anyone will ever get it right. Some people's brains just can't be understood. Frank has explained what actually inspires him to make each sign, however. And Frank says that to make his signs and guide his protests, he uses extrasensory perception to talk to past Soviet presidents where they then give him guidance. So, so Frank uses psychic powers to have chats with the ghost of Lenin. Fra 
Frank said that if it wasn't for the ghosts of the Soviet presidents that he talks to, he couldn't spread his message or gain regular employment due to discrimination from the alphabet agencies and the 12 galaxies. Frank buys a new sign every single week from Signographics and he sells his old signs to his fans. He pays for them by using the back of his signs as space for sponsorships, even allowing election candidates to rent space on his sign. And on top of that, he lives on donations that his fans send to him as well as state aid. Some have accused Frank's sponsors of exploiting him by using bumvertising, as it's called. But even though Frank spends most of his time on the streets, Frank isn't actually homeless. He has a place to live. I think these accusations just stem from the fact that a lot of homeless people in the area do similar advertising so they can afford food. When Frank isn't protesting, which is very rare, he can be found at his two favourite places in this whole galaxy. The Cheesecake Factory and Starbucks. No conspiracy or anything wacky there, the guy just really likes cheesecake and bad overpriced coffee. Frank has said that the best thing that people can do to help him is by calling TV stations and trying to recommend that he gets more coverage for the populations of other galaxies and also make it very clear to them that he is a confirmed movie star. Frank believes that with enough media exposure, it will cause a public outcry across all of the other galaxies and he will be compensated with, in his words, 20 billion dollars that he feels he is owed. He also believes that if he can prove his conspiracy to the UN, then the UN will finally allow Frank to travel to thousands of different galaxies like all of us can. The UN can't even do its actual job, but you expect it to master space travel. As for right now, Frank is still on the streets of San Francisco doing his protests. Like, literally, right now, at this moment. If you went down to his usual hotspots right now, you will find him there protesting. Now, I personally believe that people have enabled Frank for a very long time, and he does need professional help. But, considering he is now 61 years old, and he's been doing this for about 30 years, I think he might be too far gone at this point. I think some people just found the idea of having a local crazy alien guy pretty funny, or people have been goading him into his wild alien rants because they found them entertaining. And because Frank is so harmless and nice and friendly, no one has ever thought about getting him help since he's never caused problems for anyone. But as a result, he has wasted 30 years of his life on this nonsense, which is really sad no matter what way you look at it. But the man will most likely protest until the day he dies because other people have encouraged and enabled it. And Frank, if you're watching this right now, thank you for tuning in to the latest episode of The Richest Family, reporting to you live from the seventh galaxy, the Scottish galaxy. I've been your host, Zipzop. Thank you. And good night. It's Count Dankula on YouTube. Everybody subscribe.